Hi, it's Jesse from Bold Grid. I'm here today to do another tutorial to help one of our users out on the Bold Grid forums. Our user, Laura, is actually using a block uh, at the top of her page as her main hero image, as the background image. Um, and it's not scaling quite right for mobile, so I'm going to show you how to do that, Laura. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. So right here we just have a um, Bold Grid section here with this image of the logo and the dog as the background. Um, and if we check out how that looks on the front end, we can see that it might not scale right quite for all image sizes. So I'm just going to use my browser preview that was Control Shift C in Chrome. Um, and I'm just gonna see how that scales down for different device sizes. So here we're at about a tablet and I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. And as you scale further and further down towards the phone range, you can see it cuts off that logo and we just have the cute puppy. Um, so if we wanna make sure that we can see the image and the puppy, we're gonna to have to scale this a little bit differently than a normal background image. So uh, let's go ahead and head back over to the edit page. So the first thing you'll need to do um, in order to scale this image is to give the background a custom ID that we can work with. So if you check out this menu down here at the bottom, the gray menu to edit the section, and we will change the background. So we can see that we have all of the settings here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and go out of the background and go back to the advanced control and go down here to the custom CSS classes section. And here's what we're looking for. We need a custom ID in order to target this background. So I've just named it my custom background. Um, once you've got that put in there, go ahead and publish the changes. And let's go to view the page again. And now we're going to go to customize and turn off the preview. Okay. And now that we have a custom ID, we can go to our custom CSS in customize, advanced, custom JSS and CS, JS and CSS, excuse me. And now we can see what we can do. So we're going to target our custom background. That was a hashtag my custom background. And now we need a couple of rules in here. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to change the size from cover the space to contain the image. So that is background size contain. And I'm going to add important to that because we're overriding an element style. So that was exclamation point important. And then um, now that we can see that it's contained, you can kind of see how it uh, tiles that image on the size. So we need to go ahead and add background repeat is no repeat. And we can call that important as well. Okay, let's publish that. And let's go ahead and see how that looks on the front end now. Okay, let's see how it scales down. So right here we're at about a tablet. Turn off these previews. And as I scale it down, you can see that the entire image remains visible even as you get down to smaller devices. So those are the two rules that you'll need to do. The only trick is adding that custom CSS ID. And once you have that, you'll be able to scale the image correctly. Uh, so Laura, I hope that helps. And let us know if you have any more questions. Thank you.